the beauty of Santa Anita, of the old stands looking over onto the Sierra Madre Mountains, it's unique. Um, when the sun comes up, everybody's happy, everybody's in a good mood. It's a wonderful place to be. Thirteen to six perfections, a French-based three-year-old filly who tackles the boys today. Six perfections trained by uh, Pascal Barry, and she'd had a busy season. She ran in France, England, and Ireland. When she got to the start, I remember feeling very nervous. Okay. She has a mind of her own. Well, Bailey bails out. Apparently, I went absolutely white. Jerry Bailey and the gate team got her in, and history was made again. I remember I was sitting out in, in um, one of the open boxes there at Santa Anita, getting warmer and warmer by the second as, uh, as she was showing her masculinity. It was uh, very nerve-wracking. She came down the straight and one began to relax. beautiful mare who went on to be a very good brood mare. That was an incredible day. Very different day, two different, very different races. We had an idea of taking him to Dubai over the winter and I did a piece of work with him at Lingfield. Uh, on the old weather, which I wasn't happy with. That night I said to Maria, listen, I think you've got a horse that if he was in America, he could win a Breeders' Cup. And Maria was reluctant to take him off me because you know he'd been second in a derby and everything like that. And I just said to her, listen, for, it, for the horse's benefit and, and their benefit, they had a, a horse to go to war with. So I thought it'd be a big help to the horse. So they decided to throw the dice. They're off in the Breeders' Cup turf. And Flincher is on the attack too. Chiquita and main sequence on the far outside, and here he comes. Main sequence forging to the front. A perfect year for main sequence. When you're dashing down to the um, winner's circle, you're not really aware of the crowd because you're concentrating on yourselves, your own party, your own group, um, hugging each other and uh, high-fiving, smiling and laughing. The crowd, especially if it's a a favourite like uh, a main sequence, it's good for the good for the betters as well. It was teamwork, so it was superb, and that team pulled it off together with, with Graham and and David. David was also over for the day at Santa Anita. When you first got him, he was on that losing streak. Did you think that you would be here at this moment, this time of the season? I had no idea it was this kind of horse. Ten years ago, we won this race with Bellator. Now it's unbelievable. Every 10 years it's great. Yeah, I'll take that. It was always agreed that Graham would get the horse. We spoke about that and, you know, everything else went according to plan. So it was nice to see it go the, the right direction. It's nice, yeah, you know, for Maria and her family because, uh, you know, it's something that uh, the whole family could enjoy together. Main sequence on the far outside and here he comes. Cara Conti being drawn 14 of 14, and the stats were against us. Everybody, the press, the racetrack, the Breeders' Cup people said, it's never happened, 14 from 14. Another interesting here, a horse on the outside, very bad post position, uh, Cara Conti was in a ton of trouble in his last race. He finished 11th, but I mean, forget about it. He was all over the place, up everybody's rear end, coming through the stretch. <laughs> Stefan Pasquier was cool, calm and collected, let the horse break, brought him over, and was never really troubled by, him, by his outside position. In the stretch, he, he came through and wore down everybody, winning at 30 to one, which was an amazing prize for a, a two-time Group 1 winner, a classic winner in Europe. Caracante! If you've travelled thousands of miles, gone through quarantines and come out on the track 
uh, four or five days before a race and um, it all comes together on the day. It's absolutely fantastic. The main sequence is living at a happy retirement at Fairhill uh, with Graham's barn. Count Tears at Stad in uh, Gainsway Farm and uh, had his first year of runners this year. He took a little time to let down, he's now put on some really good weight and he, he looks a beautiful looking horse now. Looking forward to getting back to Santa Anita, we say in sunny California. At the beginning of every year we start thinking who can, who can we get to the Breeders' Cup. Obviously California, Santa Anita is number one spot because we're almost guaranteed to have, have the weather and it puts everybody in such a good mood.